the start of the Get Diamond ready, Challenge Skulls for elite men. Oli Zeidler from Attention. Germany on the left-hand side of your picture. Guillaume Kronenhock on the right. Start is given pretty early on there in the race and uh, Kronenhock seems to have got off to a bit of a flyer, man. Well, I've been watching Kronenhock through this competition and, uh, you know, he's been really impressive uh, on... We, we had a, a, a diamond. Oh my goodness! The steering's gone a bit off. I was going to say we've had a, a, a diamond that's been full of um, shocks and overturns this week, haven't we? And Kromenhock has been involved in, in quite a lot of that. So he's his route to the final has knocked out the world champion uh, Kettle Borch. He's been warning uh, the umpire's just warning there um, the scholars as they get on the station. It's quite swirly coming out of the island. It's a decent lead for Kromenhock. He was in that Prince of Wales quad last year from Skull in the two seats. And he's a man which is really powerful on the ergo. His score on the ergo, they do it on the road perfect rather than concept two, is, is 5.35. He's the second quickest in the Dutch team on the ergo. So certainly Oli Zeidler, who we know can do a sub 5.40 ergo, really on the concept two, he's so powerful. But these two scholars pretty matched in terms of power output, man. Yeah, um, Seidler is 105 kilos and Kromenhock is 101 kilos. That's both very, very big uh, athletes, huge wingspan, which can be an advantage in the single. Um, and they're both shoveling down an awful lot of power as they try to stay on terms and get from the ferocious intensity of the start into more of a rhythm that can guide them through the second half of the course. But I always think psychologically in the singles, it's really, really hard. Uh, on your own, you've got to make sure you're in contact with the other guy, and that makes it harder for you to settle into a, a, the rhythm you need. So the early stages just coming up to what will be around 500 metres, the first quarter of this race, and Oli Zeidler from Germany is leading his opponent, Guillaume Kromenhock from the Netherlands. Zeidler, the European champion in this event, but uh, didn't manage to score a medal in World Cup 2 in Poznan. Kromenhock finished 13th in that event, so really the favourite for this race should be Zeidler. But uh, we've had so many upsets, as you've heard yeah. Matt Britton say, in the Diamond Skulls this year. Yeah, just just thinking back through it, we had Mahi Drysdale, six times winner, uh, Olympic champion, knocked out on Thursday to Matt Brigham. Matt Brigham went out the next day to Edema, who went out the next day to Kromenhock. Kromenhock himself on the other side of the draw knocked out Borsch. So surprise after surprise, glittering competition in the Diamonds, but rock hard. So Oli Zeidler has had a number of tough races. Certainly I saw him in the quarter-final race. Uh, Michael Schmidt, the Swiss lightweight sculler. Schmidt kept him honest the whole way down. And Zeidler has said he's come here, really decided. I'm not sure the German team were too pleased with Zeidler breaking his training program to come and race in Henley, but he doesn't really care what the German team think. He trains down in Munich on the Oberschleisheim course with his dad, Heiner Zeidler as coach, and he said, I want to come to Henley to race in the difficult water, the swelly water. That's where I've heard that Sculling is at, and I'm going to go and race there. And Oli Zeidler on the right of your picture has done that. He's leading by around one length. It's not a decisive margin for Kromenhoek just yet, but it could be decisive further down this course. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love that attitude, don't you? Just took up Sculling not too long ago, a few years ago, having been a 100-metre freestyle swimmer. And I wonder whether that kind of is helping him with the sort of smoothness, the, the way you think about moving through the water, connecting with the water, gripping the water and moving through it. Very, very fluid in swimming. I like that, that style that he's bringing to the to the single skull here. Yeah, that's a great shout, Matthew. I, I talked to him in 2017 where he finished third in that first World Cup, burst on the scene, and that was just a phenomenon, really. You just thought, how's this guy? He's only been sculling a year, and now he's winning a bronze medal in the World Cup. And he did say, you know, it's the same idea as swimming. You've got, you've got to reach out with your arm, just find a grip on the water, leave yourself through the fluid. And Oli Zeidler, 22 years of age, so much promise ahead of him. Such a great uh, dynasty in his family. His grandfather, Johannes Faber, was Olympic gold medalist in the Cox Fours in 1972, bronze medalist in 76. His mum was uh, an Olympic rower, his dad's a rower. His sister rose in the German uh, National Eight this year, Marie Zeidler. And so you've got rowing heritage coming out of his ears. And that's why he tried it on the Munich course in 2016. And look what's happened now. Absolutely wonderful. The family history there, meeting the incredible history of this regatta. This event, the Diamonds uh, Skulls, started in 1844 and has got so many legends uh, on that trophy. And uh, Seidler here is looking to make certain that his name goes on it this year.
the 180th year of Henley Regatta, and at the moment he's looking in a very commanding position. But we've seen upsets in the second half of the race before, fairly major upsets, and this has been probably the, the Diamonds Challenge uh, trophy of upsets this year. It has, but I think both these scholars would have had a tougher time with the water yesterday, a lot more craft out on the Saturday at Henley. The conditions look a little gentle swell on the water, but I think Oli Zyder will have mastered that by now, the sculler on the right of your picture. Guillem Kromenhock, the man from Skoll on the Netherlands in that distinctive red jersey, champion here in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup last year. Sculling for the Netherlands. He's not the first sculler for the Netherlands. That's Stefan Breunink, who, of course, took the silver medal behind Oli Zeidler in the European Championships. Breunink, the fastest sculler in the Netherlands. Kromenok will hope he can make the team this year, but Zeidler just moving away. This is the most impressive skull I've seen from Zeidler yeah. in this regatta. He's looking really good, isn't he? And uh, just looking at the speed there, I picked up the time at Fawley, which was 3.36, the record's 3.31, so we don't have record conditions here. I think you can see from the shots, as you say, the water's settled. Um, and he's looking at his clock, looking down below, keeping a check on how his boat speed is, how his rating is, making sure that he's using all that information to his advantage. No let up though, the way he's sculling here looks like he's um, taking it all the way down the track, doesn't it? Get a great shot of that carbon wing rigger that holds the uh, riggers that hold his blades in place. That reverse wing rigger just bolted onto the boat behind him, just gives a clear run for the boat ahead through of any waves. That's what these yes. scullers use these days. It's boats. lovely to scull in a boat like that because it's so open in front of you. You've literally got nothing there. You can't really see out of the corner of your eyes the, the riggers and it's just you and the water. And I think for a man who started out as a freestyle swimmer, it must be a natural place to be. And you can see the finish line approaching some 500 metres or so still to go for Seidler, who's dominated this race really from the start, hasn't he, Martin? He looks so loose and fluid in his upper body. I mean, he's got a lot of kilos to move. You mentioned 105 kilos, but he looks loose and fluid. Kromenok just tightening up a little bit, I think maybe a little bit forlorn, trailing his opponent by about four or five lengths. You can see Kromenok on the left. He has a look, doesn't he? Yeah, so tough, isn't it, to be in this position this far down the track. Kromenok knows he's just got to... Um, push as much as he can into the race and he's doing you know he's doing pretty well but it's uh, he's a man who's tiring at this point he's thrown everything out the first half knowing he's up against a, uh, a really rising athlete and I think it's going to be a name that we see for a few years to come if this form continues regardless of the German system he comes to the difficult places the places he wants to win the places he wants to learn and this is a great performance well, it looks like Oli Zeidler's name will go onto that trophy. The Diamond Skulls with the great Steve Redgrave has won it, of course. We've seen fantastic scholars. Mahe Drysdale, six times champion, of course, double Olympic champion. So many scholars down the years have won this event. And now the name of Oli Zeidler will be added to that illustrious list. Relief, I think, as he crosses the line and elation slaps the water in joy. And the 22 year old from Germany is our champion of the diamonds. Kromenok crosses the line. Second place, no mean feat to be in the finals, but confirmation there Zeidler beat Kromenok in the final of the diamonds. So, pretty much the race wasn't in doubt from early on, Matt. Yeah, I think um, there was a bit of an attack early, wasn't there, from um, Kromenhock, but that smoothness just increased all the way down the course. Lots of power. And he got smoother and smoother as he stretched out in front. I think there's so much more to come from this athlete. Yeah, he doesn't need so much compression as well. He just times it so well. He's just got the pick up right as his slide arrives at the front end. And it's harder, you know, the, the bigger guys in rowing uh, particularly can sometimes struggle in the smaller boats, but this is a display of how to do it. If you're a big athlete, you've got to be poised and athletic, and that's exactly how he sculls. So, celebrations for Zeidler. You can see what it means to him.